This rifle is intense. Korean manufacturer Evonix has a new air gun in their growing arsenal, the Tactical Sniper. On today's episode, I put the 45 caliber version to the test and give you my take on this big boar bad boy. Coming up on Air Gun Reporter. All right, let's do some crony testing with the 45 caliber Evonik Sniper. The lightest ammo I have left in my arsenal is the 180 grain Air Venturi round nose slug. So let's go ahead and use that and see what the results are. I have the Sniper charged to 3000 PSI. Go ahead and put my mag in. Okay, let's go ahead and take our first shot. Before I do that, I am going to put my hearing protection in because this is a rather loud rifle. So better safe than sorry. I'll put these little gummy bears in my ear. During my testing, I found out that the largest bullet that will fit inside the magazine for the Ivonic Sniper are the uh, 200 grain hollow points, again from Air Venturi. So we might as well chronograph those. I am back up to 3000 PSI. And let's see how these do. All right, let's try something different. I have the Tri-X stand set up so I can use it in the seated position at my picnic bench here. That's something a little bit different. Uh, I really like this Tri-X stand. It's so versatile. Standing, kneeling, sitting, it really makes for a great shooting rest. Okay, I've got uh, 180 grain inventory slugs. My target is set out to 50 yards. Let's see how I do once again. Tighten this gimbal down a little bit more. Okay. Oh man. The uh, cocking is nice and smooth on this rifle. One more shot. Okay, well I decided to get off the bench for this 75 yard group and use my trusty Tri-X stand. I tightened everything down. It's nice and stable. That 
was luck. All right, let me try it one more time at 75 yards and see how I do. It's funny how air gunners get spoiled when they're shooting like a 22 or 25 caliber pellet and they're just creating clover leaves and uh, one hole groups at their 35, 40, and 50 yards. This is a 45 caliber air rifle and I'm shooting at a target that's only about uh, four or five inches. Uh, the other ones are, I believe, are eight inches. But at any rate, hitting that target would be a kill shot on uh, game down range. So let's see how I do. Again, hitting the bullseye. That lucky first shot. And that's all you would need if you're shooting game with this rifle. That one completely dropped. All right, for what it's worth, there's my group at uh, 75 yards. Let's go ahead and test the trigger on the Yavonic Sniper. All right, let's go ahead and do the trigger testing on this bad boy. Now, I'm not using any ammo in the magazine. Don't really need to for this part of the test. So the sound will be a little bit different. Okay, let's go ahead and get our average. Seven pounds, seven ounces. All right, let's do the sound testing. I've got 200 grain Air Venturi hollow point slugs in the sniper right now. I'll be about uh, two feet from the muzzle and just off to the right so the blast of air doesn't affect my reading. Let's see what we get. And my target is 75 yards down range. Let's see if I can hit it offhand, just for the heck of it. I actually did, surprised. All right, let's take one more shot. Right, the show's over. I gotta hit this wooden hot dog with some truck bed liner. I've had enough. Oh yeah, we are back in black. Folks, I found the 45 caliber Evonics Tactical Sniper to have the power and accuracy needed for taking medium-sized game at a distance between 35 and 50 yards. I've heard you can get 12 usable shots from the Tactical Sniper on a full charge, but personally, I'd limit that to about 7 or 8 shots while hunting. The side lever action is smooth and reliable as long as you feed the magazine with the recommended ammo. I like the modern design with its upper and lower tactical rails that give you plenty of options for accessories and optics. The anodized and blued metal finishes are expertly done and very pleasing to the eye. The balance is somewhat front heavy, but this appears to be a sacrifice made to allow plenty of stock adjustment, which can fit just about any shooter's preference. The trigger pull was on the heavy side at 7 pounds 7 ounces, although it can be adjusted to as light as 4 pounds according to the instruction manual. The Evonik Sniper will definitely impress airgun and firearm enthusiasts who are into the tactical look. 
Ooh, right near the bullseye. And its power and accuracy for hunting medium-sized game will impress them even further. In my opinion, Ivanik should continue designing multi-shot rifles with simple side lever actions and take a step back from adding electronics to their proven designs. For Air Gun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, please shoot safe and have fun.